Hey guys, what's up here? Welcome back to another video. This is gameplay taken from my stream. It's a Jack's gameplay. I thought there were quite a lot of learning points from this one, so even if there's like a bit of a different commentary style for my standard videos, hopefully it still scratches your itch. But I also want to take this opportunity just to thank you guys for watching my videos. I really do appreciate that, especially considering on this channel, uh, I seem to have a fair amount of uh, gameplays where I play just a little bit wank. So it's nice that you still watch the videos. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy. All right, I'm going to get a sick leash here. So I'm going to go for a level four clear. Look at this shit, man. Now I'm going to be level two to take the big chicken here. That is such a good leash, T-Y, guys. That was really good. So Twitch will most likely go mid at level 2. Pretty much guaranteed with the Twitch jungle. Just gotta be aware of the cheese. Oh shit, he's here. Wow. That's pretty greedy. He's gonna lose a lot then I guess if he doesn't if he doesn't get that he loses quite a lot here. Wait, did he roam mid and lose like a whole minion wave? Oh shit. Fuck my fucking piece of fucking shit life. Holy shit. I left it on like one hit, that feels pretty bad man. I'm gonna recall here I think. Oh, I can't believe I left it on one hit. I could have killed him as well if I got that. I should have calculated that better. That was so dumb. Doesn't Jax build Tiamat? No. Top lane Jax sometimes goes Titanic Hydra, but most don't build Tiamat on in jungle Jax. Boom, least. baby. Hey Foxy. Hey Matt. What is a good build for a Moo Moo for this patch? Should you go more damage or more tank? I would say go more tanky, but it's kind of up to you, honestly. Good shit, thanks to Leash Twitch. <clears throat> so yeah, I would say go like I would I would say send the Hulk into like maybe Leandries if you want damage. So I send the Hulk into da into Leandries. You can go Runic Echoes though and go Grenade Moo if you want to, but I'll try to recommend it. This Twitch is so far behind and he's not ganked anywhere yet. If I hadn't messed up that grunt play, he would be, like, really done So He's still level 2. Like, he's got 3 CS, right, and he's level 2, which means what he did was he did red buff, and then he got grump, and he's done scuttle crap. That's all he's done. He hasn't done anything else. wonder if I can take this here. I don't really want to use E, because this isn't going to hurt me that much. And if Twitch comes, I think I might need my E. Let's see if this is a terrible idea, shall we? Is he not gonna die? That's pretty unlucky. Wait, what? Well, that was a two for row. Fuck, how did- Ah, oh, shit. Fuck my life. That was unlucky. I still get first blood though, it's, it's kind of not too bad, but... Alright. Um, let's go for the red smite here. I 
Actually, I'm gonna do my bot side jungle. The fox drop. The fox drop. Yo, Washy Wishy, welcome back, man. Thanks for the five bucks, buddy. Drop some love in the chat, guys. You know how to do. Appreciate it, my man. Half a year. Thanks and keep up the good work. Less than three. Cheers, buddy. <coughs> welcome back, mate. Appreciate it. Drop him some foxy hearts, guys. I'm not gonna get this unfortunate. The fox drop. Yo, Serene, you welcome back as well, my friend. Appreciate it. Foxy hearts, guys, you know how to do. Cheers, Serene. Ooh, I don't know about this one. Holy shit. Get shot on. That is beautiful. That's what we like to see. Cheers, Serene, my man. Right, I'm almost level 6. Once you get level 6 on Jax, you're like really good at well, everything really. Jungle clearing included though. Getting this like Womp every third hit is really useful. Like passive on hit damage is so nice for clearing the jungle. It's one of the reasons why Diana is actually a decent jungler or like she can clear decently. Because you just like get that AoE cleave every third hit. I basically just get like an extra auto attack every third hit. It's crazy. Wait, how close am I to this? Uh, I should probably wait until I can afford that before I recall. The fox drop. The Cascadius, fox welcome, drop. mate. Wonderful of you. <laughs> Wonderful of you to join us. Thank you, man. Drop some love, guys. Appreciate it, mate. Give him some foxy hearts, guys. Welcome, friend. How is Diana these days? I think mid lane she has some really rough matchups, and for jungle it's kind of a similar deal. But yeah, she's not great. Hmm. I'd like to take this, but the Jack's missing, and Twitch could show up in the river as well. Got to be quick. Nah, there's no point ganking top. He's too tanky, and Gangplank doesn't really do any damage. Gangplank just wants to farm anyway, so... As long as he can do that, there's no problem. I probably should have given that blue to Victor, but I wanted level 7. I should go for Dragon at some point, though. I wonder if I can take the Rift Herald really early here. Holy shit. Let me hit your eye, buddy. Bro, this is so easy to take. It's disgusting. This should pretty much guarantee us first blood tower as well, hopefully. Twitch is mid. He's too low to, to really do anything here. I could just put this mid on a C. I don't think Oriana can defend this on that health. She's got a recall, right? And this tower is really low. This might just be first blood tower. 
Oh shit, that, that damage. Yeah, she can't stay. Like, if she stays, she dies, so... There we go. First blood tower. Good shit. And if she's still back, maybe we can even do damage on the next one. In fact, that is a really good shot. I'm just going to go to Dragon here. That was close. Is that blue up? Infernal Dragon would be great to take here though. Alright, I've got no smite. I'm just going to ping that out. don't think they can stop this really, but... It's good knowledge for them to have. Alright, this is a pretty good start to the game. We played this early game pretty well, I think. Uh, do we go... We'll go Triforce here. Alright, that's unlucky, innit? I'm gonna go for Stinger because... <coughs> attack speed really helps with your jungle clearing. Like, whoever you're playing, attack speed is really useful. Ooh, good flash. Bad heal. And uh, especially when I'm Jax and I've got every third hit I do extra damage and I have on hit damage as well. Like attack speed is such a delicious stat for me. Like I'm just going to clear this jungle so fast now. Like I don't really need burst so I don't really need sheen. I think if I could I would have gone phage here but it's a bit more expensive. But like this, your jungle clearing once you get attack speed is so good. So why you go blood razor but also why you go for this. Don't some people do warrior enchant on Jax actually? I'm not sure. Be wrong. I want to keep up my farm here as well. Kaden complaining about other champions. I was thinking that as well, actually. God, I hate these champions, dude. You're playing Kaden in lane. Caitlyn and lane, <laughs> lane phase Caitlyn is pretty disgusting. Maybe I should have gone Bork actually this game. Is there any point in me going top I wonder? Pretty good. We can probably get this tower here as well. I'm going to set up all these minions for Gangplank. Jax is good with farm, but Gangplank is a pretty strong champion with scaling, so... Holy shit, we just killed four of them. And Orianna's bot. We can keep going here. I don't want to take that guy's CS, so... Does anyone, no one on my team has red buff here, which implies that either Twitch, which means Twitch didn't die with red buff, so either it's up here, or he just uh, had already taken it. So, it is up, good shit. Mm, I could sit here and just like wait for Twitch. But if I do that, I could easily get killed by the, like, Shen and Sona there. So I'm not going to do that. It's too risky. Instead it was take his jungle, fuck him up. <coughs> Maybe we can even move into his bot side jungle and get this too. I'm not going to go bot for Lucian there though. I don't think I can kill him without my flash. Holy shit, my damage. What the fuck? That's ridiculous. 
I'm so dead here. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> so close. Shit. My bad. What runes am I playing with right now? I've gone for AD reds, attack speed quints, army yellows, and MR blues. I think that's a pretty good page for Jax. AD reds is just standard, uh, but a bit of attack speed because he's, you know, just a uh, synergize as well with with, with uh, Jax, right? So, a bit of attack speed. And then you've got the army yellows to help your early jungle clearing as well as your like 1v1 matchups. So, if you're playing versus a physical damage jungler, for example, someone like, well, Twitch this game, but more likely someone like Lee Sin or something, right? Or Kha'Zix or Graves, whatever. <coughs> then it helps you just not get fucked up in the early game. Your blues can be pretty much anything. I could have gone for attack speed blues if I wanted to as well. Would have worked well. I could have farmed my jungle here, but I'm just uh, going to hang around just in case my team gets in trouble. Did I get greedy and go towards blue? Yeah, I did. That was pretty greedy, honestly. Like again, I almost escaped. So you could say it was unlucky, but if I had escaped, it would have like it would have been lucky if I had escaped, right? So you can't really look at it that way and be like, "Oh, that was that close." It's like, well, kind of deserved it, didn't you, mate? <laughs> also, I somewhat wasted my. I think I wasted my smite on Twitch. I went for the extra damage. If I had been able to smite Lucian, I would have survived. I would have taken less damage from him. Don't you take that, good lad. Alright, let's go for the dragon here. I'm at that point in the game where I'm just going to farm up everything. Because it's a good strategy on Twitch. I don't think I need to... Okay, yeah, we'll just go for that. Gonna get rid of the blast cones so that if these guys want to join the fight, they have to just run through here. Good shit. Hey Zed, we'll delete you. How you doing, man? God, that's so much damage. I'm gonna push this. I know Victor's coming, but too like my playstyle revolves way too much around giving my laners advantages, and I think that works against me. I often fall behind the enemy jungler because I don't actually farm that much. So if I have opportunities to farm, I should really just take it, especially on someone like Jax. Like you, you can't complain about getting farm on Jax. Someone might run this way, Oriana or Twitch maybe. <laughs> Yo, dude, you're, he does, I just shit on this guy. He's so squishy. That's crazy. Look at this shit, man. This is why you should play easy champions. Like, I'm not a Jax jungle player at all. Like, I've... I've played Jax jungle like a handful of times, right? Like, three or four times in my life. But he's just such an easy champion to play. 
Like, there's just nothing to, like, there's nothing difficult to play Jack's Jungle. It's like, yeah, you need to know the auto attack reset. That's it. Just press W as an auto attack reset. That's like, <coughs> literally all you have to do. But because he's so easy, like, it has no mechanics to him. Like, it's so hard for me to mess up. Like, if I were playing Lee Sin, would I be winning this hard? I don't know. But chances are maybe not because I would have mucked up somehow, right? And if you want to have consistency, which is what you need to climb in League of Legends, then just picking the easy shit is the best thing to do. So it's much, much easier to be consistent on easy champions than consistent on champions that have high variance because of their high skill cap, like Lee Sin. Is Twitch here, or why is she doing that? Can you jungle with Jax next game? I'm already playing Jack's Jungle, mate. <laughs> uh, I know I haven't played him in a while, but I should just split push top, shouldn't I? What am I doing? I mean, I kind of should split push top. Oof. There's no need me being mid, honestly. This is pretty pointless. Like, do we really want to dive? I don't think we want to dive. So I guess I should just go top. What's my opinion on Jax versus early game gankers like Elise or Lee Sin? I think that's probably where Jax would have his biggest mismatch if you go against strong early game champions, because Jax kind of needs to scale a little bit, but I would also say that Jax is actually not that bad at level three. I mean, if you're not low on health, and you can get good use of your E, then I think he's pretty strong, honestly, in the 1v1s. This is why I'm split pushing, by the way. Because now we can just, like, pressure each lane. Fuck. Oh, wow, that's a good stun. I don't think I want to jump in on this one. Like with with Baron split pushing like this is so good. I have so much. I, whoa! I have 4.5k gold. Hello. Can I buy this shit so I can get like mega strong and feel really powerful? Kill him. I, like, that was a ridiculous game. Was that not a ridiculous game? I feel like we controlled that game really well. Like, we didn't just, like, smash with ganking, but we actually controlled the game really well. Do you agree, or was that is that just me? I got an S! Dude, I got an S on Jax. Highest gold in the game. Not that much damage, but that's cool, because we controlled the game. I feel like if... You know, that kind of play style... In my opinion, is the kind of playstyle that is quite a consistent playstyle because I didn't do anything special. I didn't rely on snowball or anything like that. I just played smart, you know.